the touched there hi everyone my name is Jackie welcome back to our channel and today I'm going to share with you some of the best tips for making a stack view well so let's get right to it now first off as you guys can see we've made a wonderful amazing uh, Americano from the previous uh, tutorial so I hope you guys like that uh, if you want to know more about that or you want to touch on that one please click on that button right up on the left hand side okay um, <clears throat> now coming back now we'll be talking about views uh, but we we need to be sure about uh, various views what type of views do we have now we have navigation views where we can navigate in between so for example okay if I had a content view I could create a new file just like that Swifty Y view I'm gonna call it super uh, Americano Americano and Swift okay so I have an Americano view where I can start doing up things and navigate in between now as you guys can see this Americano view is blank and plain so we have to add a navigation link below now the buy button as you guys can see is right down here the text button okay so we're gonna have to add a navigation view just right below the parameters okay after the whatever we did with the um, um, buy button okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a navigation link now with that navigation link we have the bracket subject oopsie my bad uh, subject okay Oh, sorry we just add in the destination destination and we're gonna remove the label we don't need the label and everything of that but we do need to tell it where it has to go so the destination would be uh, Americano view Americano there you go okay now at this point of time it would prompt me some errors okay it's saying okay localized string what is the type confirm and fix so we need to change Americano to a view, which should work. Oopsie. Oh no, here we go. So I'm going to name the destination is called go Americano. Remember to put two small little brackets down there okay as for the next part we're gonna have to add a label now just the wonderful label that we have down here we're gonna have to copy it put this down here now please now this is something that we have to modify now instead of adding just brackets we have to add in parentheses okay where our text would come in okay now remove the bottom by now button and now we should have this okay so again if you want to maintain this you can keep that if you want to make it different uh, color wise uh, making changes or anything like that you can do so for example i can change it to a blue button so the button will change blue right now which is more clearer in a sense okay so with that now this would be able to navigate from this current view to another view Okay, so instead of going in, let's play it down here. Let's run it. And as you guys can see, it's back. Now, ideally, we will have this, the back button. Okay, so just click back and we should go back. Now, this is nice. But, again, uh, we want to make it more visible. Okay, now in instance, sometimes we have another view where um, things start to get overlapped in that view. You want to put more things inside. So what do we do? We add a scroll view, okay, in the navigation view itself, okay, and while having that, remember to also add in a friend, says, and we should have that, okay. Now the problem is is that if we add in the scroll view over the navigation view, as you guys can see, all my contents within the navigation view is being overlapped because the navigation view itself contains the information okay in between so what you have to do is you take away the school view and put it under the navigation 
view itself where all the details are back as you guys can see now this is again not so ideal if let's say your spacings and everything are off okay as you guys can see my spacings and everything are off so we need to do a proper alignment for this one okay now a scroll view can be scrolled there's no ending okay so you can use this okay alternatively well, uh well we've been talking about scroll view just now so here here's another way where we can do scroll view now scroll view can be done like this with a never ending view rolling downwards but we also want it to do it in other ways okay so for example um we want it to ideally show some stuff that uh, can be chosen so we go back to americano where the preview comes in now we're going to change that text uh we're going to change that text to maybe say um make choose a type of americano okay there we go now again we need to change the font size so again a uh, foreground color let's make it a uh, black dot black okay and then we're going to make the font size we're going to change the font weight okay to maybe say semi bold that looks nice okay and then we're going to add in some other stuff for example uh let's do a how about a background okay uh or animation dot is in and out okay now with that being done now we can add other items below so for example we're going to add in uh again always add in the z stack like that coverage there we go and then the next part what we have to do is we need to add in a scroll view now this is slightly different after adding scroll view now unlike just now where we can just add in the scroll view and simply just navigate that way we need to add in a scroll view open a bracket dot horizontal now horizontal means like straightforward okay towards the y-axis so do take note about that one now after you do that also add in show indicators and then false okay so that would make your view presentable in a sense okay now after you've done that next part is you need to add in details in your scroll view so for example we have to add in an h stack because again um we're doing some you know um horizontal stuff okay so we can add in spacing okay if you guys want to it depends on you okay with a screen okay dot max maximum width okay to the power of 0 0.08 okay now that will work automatically now the screen oh uh, we did not create the screen for this one so my bad on this one so we can remove this instead okay so having h stack instead okay so in short to say now with that h stack itself we can create uh, various items uh, for example we can add in using a bracket there we go now we can create items for example let's put in uh, two things okay one let's have an image same okay just like what we did down here with the image okay so i'm going to just copy and paste that and remember the padding copy and we're going to add that in paste just like that so you should be able to see the picture coming up in a minute there you go okay now with this being done okay we should have no problems with this one now after you've done this now as we as you guys can see we can't see the text now so we need to remove this and we need to put this within the parameter of this and it should be there okay 
Now, the, the frame and the width is slightly a bit uh, big, so we're going to change it to 100. And we're going to change the height to about, let's say, 200. There we go. And this H stack is a bit annoying because we, we are, we're hoping that we can scroll it in, right? So instead of doing that, let's put this down here and we want it to be in the middle, okay? So instead of putting a Z stack, we're going to remove the Z stack. And we're going to remove the last bracket. Okay. Then we're going to add in a Z stack down here. Z stack. And then we're going to add in another Z bracket down here. And that should solve the problem. Okay. Now with that, okay, we need some space in between these two. So we have to add in a spacer. That. Now we have to change this to a V stack that. There we go. That should solve the problem. Okay, good. And then this one, let's do the alignment. Uh, dot alignment. Multi alignment. Dot center. And it should go to the center. Not. Okay, the words are in the center now. Okay. <clears throat> now. After we have this, now we're going to have to create another one. Okay, copy, paste the image. So we have to add in images, copy, copy, paste, and we have another image. There we go. And we're going to have another image. There we go. And we can add another image. There we go. Okay, as you guys can see, the minute I pull this, you should be able to see the various items scrolling left and right. Okay, now, um, so I've placed some pictures. I'm going to make it even better. So might as well. Let's add some text below. So again, let's copy the text. Remember the multi-line center. Copy that and put that in. Okay. Now, we got a problem here. Now, if you do that, you can see it's not wrapped, okay? So, instead of doing that, why not? Let's create another line, okay? And let's create another H tag. And again, we add in the line after the below the H tag, and it should pop up below, as you guys can see, okay? 